this video on plant assets, we're going to be talking specifically about the straight line method of depreciation. So to calculate straight line depreciation, we're simply going to need a rate times depreciable cost. So the way we calculate the rate under straight line method is taking 1 divided by the useful life. That will give me the rate for my straight line depreciation method. And multiply that times depreciable cost. Depreciable cost is equal to cost less residual value. Remember, residual value is what you think you could possibly sell an asset for when you're done with it. You don't want to depreciate an asset below residual value. Okay, so we could actually put that over 1 as a fraction. So if you multiply these two fractions together, the 1's cancel each other out, and we're left with cost minus residual value divided by the useful life in years. So what straight line does, it allows us to allocate an equal amount of the asset's cost each year over its entire life. And this is most appropriate for assets that generate revenues equally or evenly over time. So let's look at an example. And we're going to use this same example on the later videos when we're talking about other methods of depreciation. But Pulley Bone Fried Chicken bought equipment on January the 2nd for $15,000. The equipment was expected to remain in service for four years and perform 3,000 fry jobs. At the end of the equipment's useful life, Pulley Bone estimates that its residual value will be $3,000. The equipment performed 300 jobs during the year, 900 the second year, 1,200 the third year, and 600 the fourth year. Prepare a schedule of depreciation expense per year for the equipment under the straight line method. So the first thing we have to do is calculate depreciable cost. So remember, that's cost less residual value. So in this case, the cost of the asset was $15,000. Residual value is $3,000, leaving us a depreciable cost of $12,000. Now we need to multiply that times our rate. Remember the rate is 1 divided by the useful life. So in this case it's 1 over 4. We multiply that times $12,000 or take 12,000 divided by 4 years. That's equal to $3,000 per year. So my depreciation expense under the straight line method, remember that will be my depreciation expense every year because it distributes the cost evenly over the life of the asset. So every year, my depreciation expense will be $3,000. Notice my accumulated depreciation, which is the contra asset that's associated with the, with the asset itself. Every year, as we depreciate the asset more and more, total accumulated depreciation grows and grows and grows by $3,000 each year. And therefore, the book value of the asset goes down by $3,000 every year until we reach that residual value amount. Notice we do not depreciate the asset below the residual value amount. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and questions and comments are always welcome.